Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new predictions video. And while you guys are watching this, I'm obviously going to be at New Orleans myself. Um, so it's absolutely awesome. We've got a flame on Discord. Unfortunately, no captain right now. Um, he died. So um, it's just going to be me <laughs> and flame. Go on, this is this is where you say what you're going to say before I rudely cut you off. <laughs> Oh, no, I was just going to say, yeah, he's like in hospital or some shit and just completely make something up. Yeah, yeah, and, um, he's got a really, really serious thumb injury. No, I thought he had, like, um, bowel problems, but okay. Oh, that, may, maybe it's a, maybe a double issue, you know? Yeah, you shoved the action figure too far. <laughs> I had to go get it removed. That that was it. That was it. And of course, yeah, his thumb injury as well because of the whole tapping. Got it. So we're gonna go through the NXT Takeover New Orleans card. Give predictions tomorrow. I'll do this for WrestleMania. Of course, the match card is subject to a little bit of change, um, just because I have to get these videos recorded fairly soon um, without watching. So we got what one more episode of NXT, right? Yeah, one more. And then of course tomorrow. Um, Doing the Mania ones will miss out Raw and SmackDown. So again, something like Braun Strowman's tag team partner will be announced. You know, stuff like that. Um, matches that may not be confirmed yet will go ahead and do like Cena versus um, Taker. But who who knows? Maybe legit that match won't happen. So, um, well, we'll just go the way we see fit. So let's start this off with Tommaso Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano. Um, now I myself. I'm uh, not the. F I'm, oh, I, obviously, I see how good NXT is, but I don't actually watch it week in, week out. Um, I've obviously I've followed the storylines. How um, do you know the step for this match then? So the loser leaves NXT, right? Nah, if Gargano wins, he gets his job back. So Garg okay, because I saw Gargano getting like he got fired because of that match that Champa cost him, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Gargano appeared on like two weeks ago on NXT. Uh huh. And he was in the crowd. He had like a mask on. Okay. And he attacked Champa because Champa kept coming out every week and like taunting in the crowd, ripping up Gargano signs. Okay. Okay. And all that. And then like um the next week, Champa was saying to Regal how like something needs to be sorted because mm -hmm. he was saying how like Gargano he's been like Champa has been attacked at his own place of work. Gargano came and attacked him. And then they said like a thing where like apparently Gargano was going to his house at like three in the morning, and, like, right. banging on his door and everything, and he wanted him gone. That's crazy. Okay, so it's an unsanctioned match. Interesting. Yeah. It's a, a massive feud that's been going on for like well, ever since uh, the injury to Tommaso Ciampa. About what? How long ago is it now? Over six months, right? Something like that. Yeah, around six months. Right. So yeah. Big, big feud, uh, biggest blood feud going right now in NXT, I believe. Quote, you know, let me know if I'm wrong. Um, but just because of the stipulation, for me, it seems fairly s obvious. I'm going Johnny Gargano. Who are you going, Flame? It's actually quite a tricky one, because there's, like, obviously, champ, like, Gargano could win, and then he's back in NXT, but people are also saying that he... He's got like he could just go up to the main roster after takeover. Mm -hmm. But um, I think I want God, God Garner should get that feel good moment and finally get some revenge. Yeah, so it's been about time, isn't it? All right, we're both going God Garner in that one. Let's move on, guys, to a match that would definitely be again subject to change. It's not even sure if this is you know if this is all happening or not. So, Authors of Pain versus Pete Dunne and Roderick Strong versus Undisputed Era in the finals of the Dusty Roads um, Classic Tag Team whatever match tournament. So, I read up a little bit about this match. Uh, don't really know the storyline going into this, but I do know that there's an injury, of course, to Bobby Fish. Um, so. We'll see how it how it all pans out. Um, yeah, flame. How how is how has the story been built? Quickly. There isn't a story at the moment. The only story going into it is obviously through the Dusty Rhodes Classic and Pete Dunne and Roderick Strong okay. working together and like solving their problems right. and stuff to become is, a great tag team. So is then is there heat between them or not? No, but they just click as a tag team. So, Roderick Strong's a heel now, is he? 
No. Oh, okay. It opens the face, but they just click and they're just working together. But is it going to be like Sheamus and Cesaro, where like Sheamus was heel, and then Cesaro turned I think heel? It's going to be a long term thing, though. Right. Okay. Like a little short term thing to give Pete Dunne something and Roderick Strong something on the match card because right. they both have a spot. Okay. Who are you going with, Flame? Uh. Well, AOP aren't going to win because I see them going up to the main roster. Right. Pete Dunne and Roderick Strong is a short-term thing. So, well, it, it's more than likely a short-term thing. So, undisputed. to be honest, undisputed. Because what if... Adam Cole will fill in for um, Bobby, Bobby Fish. Oh, will he? Oh, yeah. right, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, Cole will have to do double do. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cole, gotcha. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll go on Undisputed Era too, actually. Yeah, yeah. So you, you Undisputed Era for you too. All right, all right. Interesting. Both both got the same predictions, but I I bet you anything you want. We are gonna have two different predictions for this match. So. Actually, no, we'll do this match. We'll do this match after. Let's do the uh, Ember Moon Shayna Baszler. Um, don't really care. I know I, I actually have followed actually, well, what there is to follow about the storyline. They, they had a match. Um, Shayna Baszler kind of went crazy after losing to Ember Moon, attacked her after the match and stuff, choked her out on the ramp, I believe. Um, so definitely heal Shayna Baszler there against Ember Moon. Ember Moon could be caught up. Um, and she already beat Shayna Baszler once. I think they're building up Shayna Baszler to be a kind of a big heel monster. Um, so yeah, Shayna Baszler for me. Who do you have, Flame? Yep, I'm going to say oh, Shayna Baszler's winning the title because. Damn. All right. Would we you are... really have Shayna lose twice in a row? Mm. Well, three times in a row. If, okay. Lost in a rematch on NXT the week after. Right. Roll up again. Right. So Shayna. Will... Yeah. Shayna Interesting. Will win. And they're building up the whole thing with Ember and like the arm injury and whatnot. Okay. So that's finally going to come into play. Up. Okay. So we've all guessed similar on the predictions so far, but this is the match was like we ain't predicting the same thing. So we've got EC3, Ricochet, Adam Cole, Killian Dane, Velveteen Dream, and Lars Sullivan in another match to determine the first ever North American NXT champion. Oh, sorry, NXT North American champion. Um. Obviously, I don't think there's been, if I, if there has been, I haven't followed any of it, storyline-wise. Um, but for me, Lars Sullivan's out of it. Killian Dane is out of it. Um, I feel like EC3, Ricochet, Adam Cole, all Velveteen Dream, I feel personally like all of them could win it. I don't I don't think they'll give it to Ricochet. Um, it, He's in it for the big spot. Yeah, exactly. I feel like EC3 is a good shout, just because... You know, it's EC3, first match. Um, he's a big name. We all know how good he is. I don't know. I don't know. Flame, I want to hear your intake on this for a bit. Actually, you know what? I'll give my guess first before I get influenced by Flame, actually. Never mind. I'm going to go... I want it to be either EC3 or Velveteen Dream. That said, I'm going to go... No, you know what? I'm going EC3. Flame, who do you have, man? I'm going Adam Cole again. I, I knew you were. Yeah, I knew you I were. I genuinely think he's going to do the double duty, win both titles, and just look like a massive star for the show. Right. I, I genuinely think he will. I, if okay. If it's not Adam yeah. Cole, I see Velveteen Dream. And then EC3? Possibility. Yeah. So I did give it a good Velveteen shout with the three possible team. ones. Okay, cool. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I you're going cold. Fair enough. Okay, so there we go. Different prediction on that one. And finally, guys, we have what is going to be an amazing match. I should have said this about the ladder match as well, which is going to be sick. This match as well, I'm really looking forward to. That is Alistair Black versus Andre Cien Almas. I'm just going to say this. I'm going Alistair Black. That's it. Alistair Black. Flame. Alistair Black. Alistair Black. Right. Um, Enough said. It's going to be a great match. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please drop your comments down below in the sections. section. Let me know who you think is going to win the matches and all of that. Sorry that Captain couldn't be here. Well, like, I know we, we do it all normally all together. But yeah, WrestleMania tomorrow. Hopefully Captain will be there. If not, it'll just be me and Flame again. Uh, like if you agree. Dislike if you disagree with our predictions. Till I see you guys soon. Take care and peace out.